And I reflected on the fact that for, for so long, we defined being human as being intelligent. We're an intelligent being, right? We're smarter than animals, so we're human because we're intelligent. We know how to do things. But what about when a machine is smarter than you? How do you define your humanity when your intelligence isn't what differentiates you anymore from other things? Our next speaker is Sister Dalia Mugahed. Assalamu alaikum. What I had prepared today was less personal. Um, and it was more about finding your purpose in, you know, in a more focused more on, on what you can do yourself. And I wanted to start really with where I started in, in times of my life when I've been lost, when I've been confused, when I've hit a dilemma that didn't seem to have an answer. And that is with the beginning of everything. And it's, it's an ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah that we hear so often. And it's when Allah announces to the angels that he is going to put on earth a khalifa. It is, and it, is, it is so often repeated, I don't think we stop and reflect on the incredible empowerment of this ayah. Because brothers and sisters, men and women, the inception of our creation was with an incredible honor and an incredible responsibility. This is not an accident. You are not a, you are not a collection of cells. This is not biology that just happened to happen this way. You were created with purpose. And it is so powerful to think of that, that your purpose was divinely ordained. And when you're confused in your life, wondering which direction to go, go back to the beginning of that. Go back to the inception of your creation. I was listening to a talk uh, a few weeks ago, and it's a simple thing, but the big thing now is AI, which is, means artificial intelligence, in case you haven't read about it. So the whole thing with artificial intelligence is machines are basically going to take over, right? Machines are smarter than us, and, and we're only a generation away from them doing all our jobs. There's not going to be hardly anything for humans to do anymore. And so there's this talk by the first uh, man, so he was the world's greatest chess player, probably ever. He's Russian, he's now an American citizen. He was telling the story about the minute, the day, when a computer beat him at chess. And he was reflecting on the meaning of that and how, and how it, was, it, it almost sort of changed the world the day that happened. And it, it, you know, many of you may have heard the story, it's called Big Blue, this IBM computer that was able to beat um, our, our, the world's best chess player at chess. And he said, he said something that really struck me. He said, computers, have instructions, but humans have purpose. And I thought that, subhanAllah, I mean, he come, he's coming at it from a completely different perspective. But I thought about that for a minute, and I, and I reflected on the fact that for, for so long, we defined being human as being intelligent. We're an intelligent being, right? We're smarter than animals, so we're human because we're intelligent. We know how to do things. But what about when a machine is smarter than you? How do you define your humanity when your intelligence isn't what differentiates you anymore from other things? And it was so poignant that he said that, in fact, that was what made us human, that we had purpose. Now, if you think about that, what, how, how, how do we fully manifest our humanity? How do we truly fulfill our designed goal, focus on this earth, if we are not reflecting on our purpose? Are we truly human? Are we truly living fully and, and, and understanding our humanity if that is not a question we're asking every single day? What is my purpose? 
And how am I living that out? How am I aligning my actions to my ethics? How am I animating my actions with purpose, with naya? Because it is, in fact, the only thing that we can truly point to that makes us human is that purpose. And it came from the very beginning. Subhanallah. Innini ja'alun fil ard khalifa. I share this story with you because it made me take a step back and think about when I've been at crossroads in my life, and we've all had them, when we, and, and they could be as simple as what do I want to do on a Saturday night? They don't have to be like huge decisions about your career or who you marry or, or who you don't want to be married to anymore, none of, none of that. But in any decision you're making, that question should be somewhere in the back of your mind. What is my purpose? How am I fulfilling this enormous honor, privilege, and responsibility that Allah has endowed me with? Every single one of you and me, our primary purpose is to serve him. Before we're wives, or husbands, or daughters, or sons, or anything else, that is what we were created for. So when you're confused, when you're making that decision of what to do with your Saturday, what to do with your Sunday, what to do with your talents, you have been given so much. Every single one of you has unique skills that no one else has in, in that configuration. It is, it is on you, it is incumbent on you, it is your responsibility to discover what that is, to hone it, and then to invest it in the way of Allah, to serve humanity, to serve God by serving humanity. That is how we fulfill our purpose, brothers and sisters. And even more importantly, that's how we show gratitude. You know, there's. The ayah in the Quran, and I, I one time was speaking to a group of phenomenal students at Stanford. So Stanford is this crazy school. It's the hardest school in the world to get into. And a room full of talented, promising Muslim students at Stanford. I mean, the best of the best, the cream of the crop of our community. And I went to them, and, and they asked me to come speak. I'm like, you know what? I need to give you a completely different message than what you're getting every single day from your parents and from your professors. Here's my message to you. None of this matters. None of this, ma none of this matters. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redefine success. Successful is he or she who purifies it. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا and I want you to think deeply about this point because it connects to purpose. If, it, if we are to actually internalize the message of the Quran about our purpose and about how we define success, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّهَ Successful is the one who purifies it. Talking about your soul. The purification of the soul is rarely, rarely, in places where you're comfortable. And it is rarely in places where you're being lavished with praise. It's in the crucible of life. It's in the places where we don't want to be, where we feel that this might be a sign of God's wrath, where we are confused, where we, where we want to quit, and we want to cry, and we want to dig a hole for ourselves and, 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 and hide from the world. Purification of the soul, if that were truly our measure for success, then yes, for, by all means, go to Stanford. But redefine why you're there. Discover your purpose. Understand what the tools of that phenomenal school are doing for you, or any, of, any place you're going, any, any education or, or career or, or path that you're taking. 
If success is about the purification of the soul, how are you doing that day in and day out? And what it means is this. When you show up at your high school reunion, when you're old like me, and, and that's where every, you know, that's where the showing off really happens, right? And, and it's not even stuff that really actually happened. You think Facebook's bad. Go to a high school reunion. You'll really see the, mani you know, the manicured image that, uh, that people are, you know, go on crazy diets just to look great on that day. And, and, it, and it's that, okay, you're at that high school reunion and, and your life's falling apart. You know, maybe you just lost your job. Maybe you just lost your marriage. 20 years into it and things are crazy for you. You don't know where you're, you don't know what you're doing. But you've just spent the past six months in deep reflection in deep soul searching, and you have come to a place you've never come to before. Because if you think about, and I was just talking to my son about this in the car, when are the times when you felt closest to Allah? I guarantee it was not when things were comfortable, at least not me. If you can, if you can attain the, that, that sweetness of dua when things are great, then wallahi, I have so much admiration for you and I wish I, understood, I wish I could learn from you how you did that. For me, that's just not how it works. It's when I've run out of ideas and I'm broken and I'm desperate. So if you go to that high school reunion and that's the place you're in and you've, you've tasted your brokenness, you've discovered your desperation and your need for Allah, you're the most successful one there. That's how it works. That's really how it works. And that was my message to these Stanford kids. I'm like, none of your parents are going to tell you this, and they, they won't like this message. But that's how we all have to define success. Because we, we've been defining it all wrong. And because of that, oftentimes our purpose is confused, and we don't fully realize our humanity. We don't fully realize our responsibility and our duty on earth as Khalifa. And subhanAllah, the, the, the question of the angels, questioning God, subhanAllah, why, 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 why? Why would you do that? It's, it's, a, it's something we could talk about for so long, the fact that the chosen creation are ones who are capable of disobedience. And, and the and the profound beauty of that, that because we have choice, because we can do wrong, our virtue is that much more valuable. Freedom is a prerequisite for faith. Anyone who tells you Islam doesn't understand freedom doesn't understand Islam. Yep. So I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up by coming back to you with, with really this plea. I want you to redefine success and I want you to make a commitment tonight to discover what you have that is special, that is unique, that is one of a kind that you are going to invest in realizing your purpose. Assalamu alaikum.